Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and today I'm joining my friends from Beat Park for another wonderful video. And today we will be making something really beautiful in boho style. Remember in the description box down below I'm gonna leave you the link to the products I used and also to Beat Park's online store so you can go there and check it out. They have lots of wonderful and beautiful things so you can get on your crafting spirits and start making beautiful things now that we need to craft our situation away. Now let's get started. These are the supplies we're gonna need to make our necklace. We take the hanger, cut the top part, straighten it, and then make it a circle and make those loops on the top. Then we're gonna take our burlap and trace a circle like that we trace our metal and then we make it bigger on the burlap after that we're gonna cut that shape we cut that shape and then we are gonna hot glue it to our metal And then we're gonna hot glue it to our metal. Lots of hot glue. We hot glue it like that. And now we're gonna start with our feathers. We're gonna make our rows of feathers. We're gonna add hot glue, add our feathers, and continue doing that all around our necklace. That's our first row, almost completed. And this is our first row completed. Now we're gonna move on to make another row, like that. And we're gonna continue adding them all around. Now we're finishing our second row. And we're going to add a third row over there because it's too wide the space that we have from the metal to our feathers. And we add the third row over there. We do a couple more. Until we have a smaller space between the metal and the feathers. And now we're going to add the seashells to the border of our metal, like that, going around, just like that. We continue adding until we finish the circle, like that. And then we're going to add another row and that row will be that way going out to the feathers you're gonna go all around the circle adding those seashells Now we're finishing that layer of seashells and now we're gonna go for our third row and they will go in between the other ones like that now we finish like 
that. And now we're gonna take some Waverly white chalk paint and we're gonna paint the metal on top. You can tie cord or youth cord or maybe some white cord or yarn or you can paint it just like me. And then we're gonna take a bead and we're gonna attach it on the top and that's it. We have a beautiful necklace. We can paint that bead as I did like that. These are the supplies to make our base. We're gonna take a base, the screw, and we're gonna attach our dowel to our base and then paint it using the black paint. Paint it completely, the base, the dowel, everything. I'm just reusing an old base that I had here. It's a piece of wood and I screwed that to the dowel. And just like that, we will have our base. Then when it dries completely, we're gonna attach it to our necklace. And we attach it just adding some hot glue in the center. Let me show you. We have lots of hot glue and we attach it. And we're gonna add some popsicle sticks around the base for more support. And this is how it turned out. As you can see, we have the beautiful seashells over there. The feathers, they are so beautiful. And the bead on top. And there we have the base. And that's how I styled it. I love it. I just want to take this opportunity, thank Bead Park, for joining me to bring you this beautiful tribal necklace. Short and cute like myself. <laughs> I just want to thank them because I loved how this turned out. I'm gonna leave you in the description box down below the link to their online store and also for the products that I use to make this beautiful necklace. And remember, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching these type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye.